Hello everyone, how we doing? Welcome to card number 11 of my Valentine's Day series. Today I am using a SVG file from Mrs. Kate's Cuttables and I'm also using the Creator Critter cartridge. So the file that I'm using from Mrs. Kate's Cuttables, it is so stinking adorable guys. You are going to love her. She is so stinking cute and I just love her files. So here goes the file that I'm using today, and this file is called Love Fog, the girl Love Fog. Then she also has a boy one, and they're located in the 50 cent store. So guys, this file is only 50 cents. And look at how cool it looks for Valentine's. It's going to look so adorable. I just love it, guys. So let's get started. My paper pad is going to be this Lost and Found Ruby uh, Glitter Cardstock. And my card is going to be an A2 size card. So let's get started. My cardstock is a red American Craft cardstock, and I'm going to score this. I cut this at four and a quarter by eleven, and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. No, four, five and a half. So I hope everyone's doing really good today. Okay, hold on a second. That's not right. So for some reason, my cardstock is not straight. So let me get another piece of cardstock. And I'm going to... Cut this at four and a quarter. So this is an eight and a half by eleven, and I'm gonna cut it at four and a quarter. I'm gonna make sure it's straight. Okay. So let me get my scoreboard, and now we're gonna score it at five and a half. Okay, so now, this frog is so stinking cute. When I seen this, it was so adorable, guys. Okay. So now let's start decorating the inside. Now for the inside, I have this brown piece of cardstock, then my pad and paper from that paper stack. Then I have my sentiment paper that I already stamped my sentiment on, and I'm going to adhere that right in the middle. And then I just cut out another piece of trim, and I'm going to join it up to the back paper. And as you can see, it all combines together. So I'm going to heal all of these together and then I'm going to let you know what stamp sets I use and then we'll start on the front of the card. Okay. So now I'm just going to attach this to my third layer and then up to the card base. Guys, I just found out and I don't understand why they're doing this. I really don't. But, you know, this is how Cricut always, always, always always been that's why they have so many different machines out they don't never really take the time to just concentrate on what's already out there but anyway they coming out with a new Cricut machine and it is called the Cricut Explore Air and it's like a light blue color it's really cute though 
and it's going to be on HSN. And what this one does is that it is wireless. So Wi-Fi, I, I think it is. Okay, now I'm just going to add my trim. So, everybody's just so, they, they, they don't understand. You know, there's just a lot of people that just bought their Cricut. They just bought it. Okay, guys, so there goes the inside of my cut. And for my sentiments, I end up using the Puffy Hearts Just For You from uh, My Creative Time with Emma. You are mine forever. You are mine forever. And then I end up using... Tiny Tags Holidays, Happy Valentine's Day. And then, you know, last video I did, I had leftover hearts. And since I'm using brown, I figured it would be perfect. And then I also used the heart stamp from the Puffy Hearts Just For You. And I used a small one. And there goes my inside. So now let's start decorating the outside. Now for the outside, I have my brown cardstock, my pad and paper. And I'm going to adhere these two together. And then I'm just going to attach it to my card base. Oh, that stinking frog. She is so cute. And I think that looks good right there. Okay, and then I just joined this straight to the bottom flush because I'm going to put a grass border. And that looks good right there. Now I'm going to add my grass border. I end up stamping um, this butterfly. I end up using the TPC, no, uh, Inky Dinky Do stamp set. And this one is called Nature's Garden. And I use this butterfly that's attached to the bunny rabbit. So what I did, I just taped off the bunny rabbit, stamped the, the butterfly, and there it goes. So that's what the butterfly looks like. And then I had just a random flower that I put down, a red Copic marker, then uh, used my Wink of Stella glitter pens and added a little glitter. And, you know, after I did that, it's really not even going to show after I put my cut down. So, but it's always good to have something in the background anyway, guys. Okay, so now I'm just going to adhere my grass. right down and it's gonna look just like that now I am making a faux banner guys now what I mean by faux banner is should have made this a tad bit smaller let me use my cutter hold on one second other side not much just so I make sure that it's gonna fit okay so now what I end up doing was making a faux banner Okay, and where's my other heart at? And I use these hearts right here, which I need one because I can't find the other one. And I'm just adding them to the corner of my sentiment. And my sentiment says, have I told you 
lately that I love you. And I thought it was so stinking, stinking cute. So before I put this down, I want to have... So what I did, I cut out a strip. Then I stamped my uh, sentiment down. And I made the strip long enough. And then I made some fish tails. Which are these. So they attach on the sides like this. And then I made some fish tails. Then I cut them even. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make see where my sentiment is going to go. And I want to add this to the back. So guys, if you ever, ever, ever want a banner and you don't want to go spend no money, guys, this is a homemade one. And this looks really amazing, okay? Look at how cool that looks. Just gotta bring them in just a little bit. Okay, so I think I'm gonna adhere it like right there. I just gotta make sure. Okay, so I'm just gonna adhere them right down here on below the the red glitter. And this is so cool. So a lot of times, you know, you don't have to go out and spend money. You can just come out with stuff. Because before anybody had the idea of making it into something, we used to all do it by hand. Okay. So now I just want to add my paper underneath the circles. That looks good right there. Then I'm going to do the other side. And that looks good right there. I'm just going to press on it. Make sure that it's down. Oh my god, this is so cute. Then, for the stamp set that I end up using for Have I Told You Lately That I Love You is from the Scrappy Mom stamp set. And this stamp set is called Little Critters. And it is so cute, guys. I just love, she has the best personality for me, at least. And, you know, my creative time with Emma and my pink stamp, is she alright? But, Crafty Mom's is awesome so I'm just gonna adhere my banner down and what I'm gonna try to do is put it in the middle guys so I already got it popped up on some foam tape now I'm gonna bring this closer so I can make sure exactly where I want it Okay, I think I'm going to have it like right there. That looks good. And I got these gems right here from uh, uh, Sarah. And she's um, Scrap from Scratch on YouTube. So she sent me those as a little rack. So there goes my sentiment, guys. Don't that look pretty cool? That banner look amazing. And then I also inked the edges with Tim Holtz. Okay, let me bring you closer. So now, in the Creator Critter, I end up cutting out this tree trunk. And I hid the face. And I cut the tree trunk out at one and a half. And here it goes. And like I said, with the leftover hearts that I have, I use them for the bottom of the tree trunk. And I also ink the edges on the... So you see, the flower's not even going to show in the back. But you know, you got to look at it as if when you're standing and you see a tree trunk, you don't really get to see the whole entire flower. You only get to see the petals or maybe the end, just like this, because you're seeing visual straight ahead, guys. 
And if you've got something in front of it, it's going to be right there. So, see, I wasn't supposed to even do that. But it's done. And I didn't want to restamp the butterfly again. So now I'm just going to adhere this down. But I think I want to pop this up. Because I also want to pop up my frog. Or should I? No, I'm going to lay this down and pop up the frog. Okay, so now I'm just going to add my tree trunk in the middle, of course. Just like that. Oh my god, look at how cool. Then, I think the only thing I have left is my frog so guys I cut out the frog the love frog that's what that's the name of it okay guys so you have to say the love frog don't forget that <laughs> oh, I could be so silly sometimes okay so here goes my love frog guys though she ain't she adorable she is so cute I end up popping up her heart twice one on the layer and then one on the two pieces that go together. So you see the white glitter pe paper in the back. And I thought she was so stinking cute. So now I want to put some foam tape behind her. And then I want to put some on her eyeballs so it'd be stable. And then two small ones on her feet. Okay, so now I just want to take all of this off and then add my frog down. My love frog. <laughs> oh, guys, I was so bored today. I didn't know what to do. And, you know, talking about bored. You know, my last video, I was telling you about this project I, I made for my son. And you guys were probably so anxious to see it. And guess what? Hello. I forgot to show you guys. So I'm so, so sorry about that. Funny things happen when you're recording. I'm going to tell you right now. Funny things really do happen. When you do stuff off camera, everything flies right. Right? Try to record it, guys. I'm talking about all of you that don't do video. Try to record a video on camera and you're either can't talk right you mess up oh it is just so funny okay so now I'm gonna take my love frog she's so cute and another I put another piece of bling in the middle and I'm gonna attach her right here just like that I think I'm gonna put a little bit more up Just like that. And there you go, guys. There goes my love frog. Have I told you lately that I love you? You are mine forever. Happy Valentine's Day. 
It is so cute, guys. But definitely, let me show you this project that I ended up doing for my son. Because he also asked me, he said, Ma, you showed the cup that you made for me? And I says, you know, Christian, I don't even think I told him about it. But I don't think I told him. Showed him. So here goes my cup, guys. As you can see, it says, Time Lord Christian. And I cut this out of vinyl. And this cup, these cups are amazing. They cost about... Four dollars a piece, but of course I got them cheaper. And um, all these little bubbles you see, like right in there, they're like ice. You know the little packages that you put in the freezer and they like rock hard. That's what those are. And this keeps your drink wonderful, cold. Oh my God, it's unbelievable. But look at how cool that looks. Oh my God, I just love it. I don't do too many projects like this. I need to start because I got a crap load of vinyl. You don't even want to see how much vinyl I got. But guys, there you go. That's what I made a project. That was the project that I made the other day when I was telling you about it and I forgot to show you. So here goes my card, guys. I really hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Please, can you please thumbs up? I would appreciate it. Leave a comment. I want to know what you think. And if you want, like I said, guys, you can head over to my Facebook page, my Pinterest, my Twitter, my uh, Instagram, and friend me. And come and follow me because you never know what I do, guys. I'll talk to you soon now. Bye. I love that banner. Good idea, guys. Just remember that. Bye now.